Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how I designed this poster using Photoshop. Let's get started. First, create a new document with its width as 1080 pixels and the height as 1032 pixels. Then the resolution will be 300 pixels per inch. The color mode RGB, then create a new document. After that, go to the adjustment layer and create a new solid color layer and choose a light gray color. Then click OK. Next, select the type tool and click it here. Okay, now type your text or select the whole text. Now you can change the font here. I'm going to choose Wolfgang Webler. Then increase its size. And then place it in the center to place it in the center we can use a shortcut for example if our text is here i want all this text in the center all you need to do is just select this layer press ctrl plus c to select the whole canvas now you can center your layer using this aligned options so next i have this 3d text here i created this textile from another software which is add up dimension if you want a tutorial about uh, how i created this text then please leave a comment then press ctrl plus c to transform and then I'm going to place this text here. After this, I'm going to change the mindful text color. To do that, you can actually use a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Go to adjustment layers and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer. We need to affect only the mindful text. In that case, you can actually clip this adjustment layer to this mindful 3D text. To do that, you can either hold alt in between two objects. You can see this option which is actually denoting error to clip this layer or else you can just click here. Both will do the same. Like it will clip this layer to the below layer. After that, whatever you change here, it will only affect this below layer. So open this hue and saturation layer. I'm not changing any saturation or lightness here. So I'm just changing the hue of this uh, layer. So this is the color actually I mean. Well, let's fix this. Let's create a drop shadow for this mindful text. Now select this layer. Go to effects and then click drop shadow. Let's move our canvas towards the left so that we can see. From here, always have the blend mode as multiply in case you are adding dash of shadow. Right now, background is in gray color, so the shadow will be in black color. In case if you have any other color rather than gray or black and white, you should choose uh, the atmospheric colors, darker color as the shadow. If uh, you have red background, then you can choose darker red as your shadow. For now, I'm choosing black here. This is the opacity control for the shadow. You can adjust it as you want. And now this will change your angle of the shadow. Here my light source is from top right corner. So I'm going to fix this angle towards this side. Now my shadow will be dropping here. And then reduce its distance. This is the distance between the object and the shadow. So this will uh, create a floating effect in this case if your distance is high. If uh, our distance is low, it will create an effect like that it is actually on the surface. So I'm going to reduce this distance here and also size to this one here. And then I'm going to reduce its opacity since the shadow is too dark. After adding the drop shadow, let's increase the brightness of this mindful text. Let's go to the adjustment layer and create a brightness and contrast loop. And then increase its brightness a little. And then also adding some contrast to it. Also adjusting its size. After that, I have an image of a guy here. I removed the background of this image using selection tools. You can do the same. Let's move this image to our canvas. This is actually placed in between this clip layers. You can undo it by moving it above all these layers. And then hold the alt to release the clipping mask. Before editing any image, if you are going to change its size in multiple times, for safety you can actually convert this layer to a small object. In this case you won't lose pixels if you are transforming it multiple times. Now we are going to create an effect like uh, it's sliced in off. To do that, uh, we can actually use this uh, elliptical marquee tool. Take this elliptical marquee tool and then create an ellipse like where you want this uh, fracture to appear. Okay. After you made the selection, select this layer and then go down here and then click this mask icon. It will only select this area and create a mask. After creating the mask, just duplicate this layer by pressing Ctrl plus G. This is for uh, another purpose. Just hide any one of this layer and then select the mask of the other layer. Then press Ctrl plus I to invert this mask. After inverting the mask, take any brush or eraser tool and then mask out this area. If you are using eraser tool, your foreground color should be white. If you are using brush tool, your foreground color should be black to hide pixels actually. Okay, to reveal it will be opposite for each other after this we should create a ellipse here to make that hollow effect like uh, your head is hollow inside to do that we have this duplicate layer right so hold ctrl and then click on this mask layer here to create that as a selection then create a new layer and then fill it with uh, some dark color i'm going to choose some brown color here some dark brown and press ok to fill this selected area plus all plus backspace to this area. If you find any gap here, just press the down arrow key just one time. After this, I need to show this as uh, some thick skin layer, some thickness over here. So to do that, I'm going to duplicate this layer again. 
by pressing Ctrl plus J and then press Ctrl plus G to transform. Let's zoom a little bit and then resize it. I'm resizing it by holding Alt uh, to evenly resize them. Now I'm holding Shift to actually affect any one of the proportions like I'm only affecting the height here. Uh, since they both are in same color, you won't uh, see any changes here. But I'm going to fill this to with another color, some lighter color. To fill this exact uh, layer here, just uh, lock this transparent pixels by clicking this icon. After this, choose some light brown color like this and then fill this layer with this color. Now you can see that hollow structure here. To create that hollow effect, the inside of the head should be darker. To do that, we are going to actually paint on this layer some black or color. So again, lock these pixels. Take some brush tool. I'm taking some soft brown brush tool. Increase the brush size as you want. I'm going to choose some black color and then i'm going to just paint it like this now for this layer lock this layer pixels and then we are going to actually paint this area by choosing colors from this adjacent pixels so to do that just select this clone stamp tool release its size zoom a little bit take sample from here and then just paint paint over this layer. now this is only selected in current layer i'll choose this as all layers and then choose colors from here to paint here reduce its opacity to around 50 okay now the bottom half is ready to create the other off just duplicate the original image here select the mask and then press ctrl plus i to invert this mask in this case you will you are actually reversing the mask you will get only this top up select the top layer convert it to a smart object just move this layer a little above here and rotate it for some dynamics like we did here we also need to add some thick skin like layer here to make it look realistic let me do it now I have a diamond image here. This is also masked out from its background. Let's drag this into a canvas. Let's press Ctrl plus G to transform, resize it and place it exactly like it's emerging from the head. After that, select the diamond's mask. Take any brush or eraser tool with a hard round brush and then erase this other off. To make a precise selection here, we need to actually select the inner circle. So choose this inner circle layer. This is inner circle layer. Hold Ctrl and then click on its thumbnail to make it a selection. Now it is selected. To inverse the selection, you need to press Ctrl Shift I. Press Ctrl Shift I. My selection is inverted. So now you can actually exactly erase this here. For realism, you need to add some shadow here. To create that, create a new layer. Flip it on this uh, diamond layer. Take a brush tool with soft round brush. Increase the brush size with some dark color just paint some shadows like in case if you want to reduce the depth of the shadow you can actually reduce its fill and then i want to change the diamond position i want to rotate the diamond a little bit in case uh, we can actually uh, have our mask exactly stay at the same position okay to do that uh, just click this chain link here it will just uh, dealing the mask from the actual subject so in this case you can actually move the mask around anywhere like uh, in a separate way or the subject alone in a separate way now i selected the subject layer rotating as you can see mask will stay there okay after that just relink the layers by clicking and between this two layers okay i'm going to add a small uh, block effect here behind this guy so to do that uh, create a new layer above the background layer i have a brush for that so i'm going to choose that brush after selecting the brush i'm going to pick the color from here and just create this pattern here okay after that i'm going to add some text around here and here to do that select this text layer create your text and then place them around the canvas as i do So after adding all the text, I'm going to add some lines here above and below this text. To do that, I'm using this line tool. Click here and then drag it to this end. Then choose this color as some light gray color. Increase its point to 2. Now again duplicate this layer. Ctrl plus G to transform. And then move this layer below here. Now I'm going to cut some areas around here. Like mask out some areas around here. Okay. To do that, that is actually a simple way. Just select the two layers and then press ctrl plus g to group them after that I choose this fracture text layer hold ctrl and then click on its thumbnail okay, this will select this actual text pixels and then select this group then go to select and then go to modify then click expand and then here give some 5 pixels uh, this will expand the selection if i create a mask here a uh, line will be visible only in this area now i want this to be inverted so to do that you can uh, create mask by holding alt okay this will create an inverted mask see now the line is gone all over on the text and then it have some equal uh, gap between this line and this text okay next time i'm going to add some words around here using some bird brush tool if you guys want to use these brushes i can uh, leave the link in the description
After adding all this, I'm going to create a frame around the design. Select a shape tool, like rectangle tool, and then create a rectangle. Then adjust and fix this into the canvas size. Okay. After that, in this properties panel, select the fill layer and then choose none. Then select the stroke layer and choose white as color. And then increase its size to something like this. This will create a equal border around your design. After this, I will add a noise on the design, like uh, some grains. To do that, create a new layer. Then press shift to backspace to fill it with 50% of grid. In the content panel, choose this 50% grid. Then press OK. Then go to filter and go to noise. Then choose add noise. Increase the amount as you want. And then in distribution, choose uniform noise. Uh, click monochromatic. Then press OK. Then change it blend mode to overlay. See, you can actually uh, see this noise. Here. So that's it guys. This is how I designed this poster. I hope you guys find this helpful. If you actually like this video, then please leave a like and then subscribe to my channel for more design tutorials. Until then, signing off here, Haribo. Bye.